Greetings, friends. So glad you chose to join us again here at Christ Church, where Pastor James Davis is going to deliver a powerful word from God. So I pray now that this word impact and change your life. Prepare your hearts now to be blessed by the word of God. I believe that y'all needed to hear what was said on this morning. You need to know that our God is, is able to do anything but fail. Amen. To some of you that are struggling and following God, believing God, God need to, needs to let you know that, listen, I'm here. I, I am the Lord that healeth thee. I am the Lord, your healer. I sent my word to heal your disease. I am the Lord, your healer. And so I believe that God just wanted you to understand that and know who he is. Praise God. Because, y'all, these situations will shake you, and they will shake your faith. Hallelujah. Amen. As to whether or not, God, are you real? Amen. And God just wanted to let you know, amen, that Jesus, amen, he's real. Amen. He is, he is real, y'all. And so it, it matters not what the condition is, uh, what they say, amen. Uh, Sister Marquita would have been dead if she listened to the doctor because she's gone beyond his time of how long she's supposed to live. Come on, y'all, amen. But you've got to learn how to say, I believe God, amen. I believe God, hallelujah. I believe God, amen. It doesn't matter what somebody else said, Amen. You've got to come to the point where we believe God. Amen. We believe God. And that's why, y'all, worship is so important because, I, Lord, I just came back to tell you thank you. Amen. I just came back to tell you thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you, God, for you did not have to do this. Amen. But you did. I don't understand everything about God, y'all. Amen. I don't understand why God does this for that one and he does that for that one. And amen. One is healed miraculous. Others got to go through truth. I don't understand it. I'm going to be honest. I, know. I just know that God is true to his word. Amen. amen. That God would do what he said he would do. Amen. And so we just got to stand fast and be faithful, y'all. Don't get wary, as the Bible talk about, in well-doing, for you shall reap if you faint not. Don't faint because you've got something, amen, because God didn't hear you immediately. Amen. There's no reason to faint. Hallelujah. Amen. Uh, and, and so you go on, like El Oliver said, you know, don't, don't claim that thing what they say it is. Just believe God that God I ain't got it. Hallelujah. And so I'm not naming this feeling. Come on, y'all. Don't put a name to it. Say, Lord, wherever it is, I know you're the healer. Oh, praise God. And trust in God for that. God can rebuild bones, y'all. Hallelujah. He can reconnect them together. Ezekiel chapter 37. He sent the prophet down to take observation. And while the prophet was there, he wanted to ask the prophet a question. He said, Ezekiel, man of God, can these bones live? Yeah. Amen. And that same question, y'all believe it or not, but that same question he put to me. God, who am I? You know. You made these people. You know. It's in God, y'all. Hallelujah. And we've got to learn to trust him on every level. It's in God. Hallelujah. Amen. Whether we're coming out or not, it's in God. It's not up to us. But the only thing that he said to the man of God, the prophet, was he said, to, he said prophesy to the bone. That's all. He said, just prophesy to him. Hallelujah. Y'all, all God has said a word to do is to prophesy to you. You know what? Prophecy means the unveiling of the word of God. Amen. Amen. Because, see, it's the word that God sends. 
Y'all need to understand, it's the word that God sent. Amen. That's why I love the little son. He sent his word, and his word healed. God said, my word never goes forth from me and return to me void, but it will accomplish what the purpose for why they sent it. Every word of God is loaded, y'all. Come on, y'all. Amen. To reach its mark. Every word of God is sent forth as a powerful weapon from God to get the job done. And that's why his word is so powerful. Amen. It will, it will make its mark, amen, in our physical bodies as well as our natural bodies. Y'all, in whatever is going on in our life, there's a word for that. Come on, y'all. There's a word for that. When there's, when, when there's confusion in the house, there's a word for that. When there's sickness in the house, there's a word from that. When they don't understand you, there's a word for that. Y'all, we've got to stop taking things in our own hand, amen, and put the word to it. Because there's a word for that. There's a word, y'all. I was going to give y'all, but I, I, my time is over. I thank God for it. Amen. I was going to talk to you again, amen, about what it means about this marriage in Christ, about falling in love with Jesus, y'all. Hallelujah. Amen. And because I come like, Lord, they don't love you. Amen. Like they ought to. And, the, and there's a word for that. Come on, y'all. Amen. See, you cannot lean on your own understanding. When things don't go the way that you think they ought to go, then you got to find a word for that. Yeah. Hallelujah. See, I am not responsible in one sense for y'all because, y'all, there's a word for that. Yeah. Come on, y'all. The, the, the Bible says, y'all, I, I said, Lord, I said, they say you, they love you. Amen. And the Lord says, there's a word for that because if they love me, they would keep my commandments. Yeah. They will be eating my word. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. See, y'all, for life today that you need to understand, amen, there's a word for our life. Yes. There's a word for, for everything that you do. If you can't find a word for it, hallelujah, amen, then you ain't got it. That's God got a word for it. Yes, hallelujah. There's a word, y'all, oh, praise God, that draws us nigh to him. There's a word, y'all. Hallelujah. There, there is a word. Oh, praise God. Amen. That's why you've got to find a word for your situation. Amen. You've got to find a word for your circumstance. Come on, y'all. You've got to find a word for your life. Amen. What is it? Amen. Why am I here? Amen. Is this all it is? No. There's a word for that. God didn't bring me in here, amen, without attaching word to me. Amen. I live for the word. I live in the word. Come on, y'all. There is a word. word. Hallelujah. What the enemy does, y'all, comes in your life. He, he comes to not to steal your stuff. He comes. Come on, y'all. I can get more stuff. He comes to steal the word. Amen. If the enemy can steal the word, you'll be sick. If the enemy can steal the word, you'll be broke. If the enemy can steal the word, you'll have headaches. Come on, y'all. If the enemy can steal the word, y'all, you won't know which way to go. Amen. When the enemy steals the word, you're going to be in confusion. When the enemy, oh, God. When the enemy steals the word, amen, from you, you won't know which way is up, amen, and which way is down. Oh, God, you need the word. There's a word. My God, there is a word. Amen. That's why you can reach in yourself. Amen. And, and find out from yourself which way I need to go. No, you need to find a word for that. Stop looking to yourself for your life. Amen. Look to the word. Amen. There is a word for that. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Oh, praise God. And that's why the enemy comes to steal the word. Amen. He wants to steal the word of, of, of healing. He wants to steal the word, y'all, of contentment. He wants to steal the word of peace. Oh, God. Hallelujah. Oh, what he want to do is steal the word, y'all. Amen. And when he steals the word, young ladies, amen, when he steals the word, amen, the, the, the Bible has said that, that the man that finds a wife finds a good thing and he obtained favor with the Lord. What he tries to do, y'all, is steal the word. You know that you'll never get nobody. You know nobody's never looking at you. Nobody is coming around the corner. Nobody is across the field. You need to tell him he's a liar and say, I got a word and I'm going to stand on the word. Y'all, the key to life is standing on the word. It's the word, y'all. It's the word. Amen. We gave you a scripture a few weeks ago, amen, where the two houses was built, one on sands, one on the rock. Amen. The one that stand with the one who was built on the rock. The rock represents the word. If you going to make it in life today, you've got to find yourself anchored in the word. I don't care what church you go to. I don't care what country you live in. I don't care where you live at. But if you're not on the word, you go going to fall. Amen. The greatest thing you need, y'all, y'all don't need another preacher. Y'all don't need another church. You don't need another choir. You need the word. If the word won't do it, y'all, you ain't going to get the, you need the word. There is a word for that. We, we, we start to, amen, we start to get upset because that one ain't here and because that one ain't there and because that one did something else, that one did. Listen, forget all of that. Get you a word. Get you a word. Hallelujah. Get you a word. Oh, praise God. Amen. And lay, do like Jacob did. Amen. When Jacob was in trouble, y'all. Amen. He laid down. Amen. Got a rock for his pillar. My God. And he meditated on the word. That's why God told Joshua. Amen. In chapter number one. Amen. Be strong and be of good courage. Hallelujah. Amen. And take this. Oh, God. Y'all, you got to take this word and meditate y'all not on what I have not on what I don't have not on what Baker is doing not what on Dur is doing no I need to meditate on the word day and night on the word our problem is y'all our minds are filled with everything else but the word when you meditate on the word your life will get straightened out. Your thought process will get straightened out. And then you'll come to the reality of life. Amen. It's found in the Word. It's in the Word. Holla, it's in the Word. Folks, let me encourage you today. Amen. Get the Word. Amen. You, you, you don't need to learn no, no more music. You need to get the Word. Get the Word. Hallelujah. Amen. And let the, let the Lord unfold the word to you and show you how it applies to you. Because many times we want to get the word and give it to somebody else. You need to understand, I don't study the word for you. I study the word for me. I need the word. And there's a word from God. Hallelujah. Other than that, y'all, I won't make it tomorrow. I won't make it next week. I need a word from the Lord. Oh, praise God. Hallelujah. All of these testimonies is the activation of the word in these people's lives. Amen. When you start taking the word, y'all, you will see your life show up rightly. Amen. You'll get a right perspective like Sister Smith. You'll get a right perspective of somebody else who have been crying and been down here. All oh, y'all saints, amen, uh, going down these sight closets of the ashes. I only got two weeks to live, and, and y'all, I don't know what's going to happen. Make you sure that y'all take care of Brother Smith after I'm gone. The devil is a liar. Come on, y'all. Get your word, amen, that I shall live and not die so that I can declare the works of God. Amen. Praise God. God, God got you to declare his works. Not your work, his works. Praise God. Well, saints, 
That, that's it. I'm done. Praise God. Hallelujah. I don't know how y'all going to fix that one up, Brother Barry, Sister Smith. I don't know how y'all going to fix it up. Y'all y'all, y'all will do something. Praise God. The word. Amen. Y'all, we love God. We love one another. But ain't nothing like falling in love with Jesus. I am telling y'all, I mean, you need to fall in love with Jesus because Jesus is the only one can reach some places in you that nobody else can reach. He can help you be content, y'all, in the midst of incontentment. Yes, he can. Amen. That, that's, that's I say. You, you need to fall in love with Jesus. Amen. And fall in love with him. Praise God. He'll do for you what no one else, amen, can do. Nobody can heal Sister Smith but Jesus. Come on, y'all. Nobody can heal Sister Diane but Jesus. Nobody can keep you in a peace of mind but Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. If Jesus is not in your relationship, y'all, it ain't going to work. You need Jesus. Every day, and just to live, you need Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, we praise him and we magnify. That's why the Bible says, amen, God wants you to prosper. Look, gospel of John, little book of John, wants you to prosper even as your soul prosper, as your relationship with him, amen, uh, prospers, y'all. Your relationship with others will prosper. Amen. Seek to establish a relationship with God. Hallelujah. Amen. Fall in love with Jesus. Amen. Fall in love with him. Oh, praise God. Amen. Fall in love with him. When you fall in love with Jesus, y'all, you can fall in love with folks. Come on. Hallelujah. You, you really can but you got to fall in love with Jesus. If you don't fall in love with Jesus, people are a problem. Amen. Amen. Not that they're not, they are problems, y'all. What I'm saying is when you fall in love with Jesus, you can deal with people. Because God gives you the ability, y'all, God gives you ability to understand them, amen, to the point that you can deal with them. Amen. That they don't infiltrate your spirit. You got to be careful that other people don't infiltrate your spirit. Amen. And you'll find and look at yourself. Amen. And you got an attitude and you don't know where your attitude come from because you allow that spirit of that person to infiltrate you. Oh, come on, y'all. Amen. And then you're nasty just like they are. Only the Lord can keep you pure. Come on, y'all. Amen. Because your mind, that's why your mind needs to be renewed. Oh, praise God. Because it's not contingent on how you treat me. For however you treat me, it don't matter. Come on, I'm in love with Jesus. So when you treat me wrong, I'm going to treat you right anyhow. Amen. I can't afford to get contaminated with your sometime attitude. Fall in love with Jesus. Come on, y'all, and know that it's in his hand. I I come to the point, amen, if God don't do it, y'all, it ain't getting done. I give him my all. I trust him for everything. Hallelujah. Amen, and God is going to do it. Oh, yes, no doubt, God's going to do it. Oh, praise God. Amen, we're going to hear the testimonies of the people of God. More than this. More than this. More than this. Thank you, Elijah, for having the courage and the bold boldness to walk up here. God has God has worked in that young man's life. Amen. Since since Karen came, been coming here with him, there's been a remarkable change in Elijah's life. That's God. And God will continue to do it. Amen. God will continue because God can work with your mind. Oh, God, I've got the chance. See, when others give you up 
and label you as something else, that, that's when God comes in. Amen. I heard somebody say, amen, that, oh God, yo, so when you get down to your last, when you are in your roughest place of discretion and, 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 and you're down at your low point, amen, you, you're only in a position, amen, that God can come in and raise you up. My God. Hallelujah. Maybe you ain't sick enough for God to raise you up. Maybe you ain't poor enough for God to make you prosper. <laughs> Hallelujah. Maybe your condition ain't bad enough. Hallelujah. Amen. Because God only comes in things that seems impossible. Hallelujah. Before that, y'all, you can handle it and you can take, uh, take care of it. We're going to receive our gifts today. But you know something? Amen. When, G when Lazarus got sick, yo, they could have healed Lazarus. They had the medicine and the doctor. Come on, y'all. Somebody missed that from healing Lazarus. And so when they sent to Jesus about Lazarus sick, Jesus wanted to know what was they going to do with what they had. And I think that's a question for you. What you going to do with what you have? Because the Lord never walks in your life when you can handle it yourself. Some of y'all waiting for God to walk in. God ain't going to walk in because it's something that you can take care of. It's something you can handle. Come on, y'all. You don't want this stuff to get so bad. Amen. So it becomes impossible. Hallelujah. And so Jesus, amen, to show himself as Jesus, he had to wait till Lazarus. The situation became impossible. Hallelujah. And Jesus said, now I'm going down. Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's when Jesus said, I'm coming home. Hallelujah. To wake up Lazarus. And, and, and they said, Lord, if, uh, come on. They said, Lord, if he's sleeping, he's doing well. Amen. Jesus said, you don't understand. Amen. I'm going down. He's not sleeping anymore, but Lazarus is dead. Hallelujah. Amen. But sleeping and death to me, it has the same meaning. Oh, God. When you're in Christ, amen. See, you can use the meaning that other people use as the same meaning that Jesus used. So Jesus said, him sleeping to me is dead to you. So I'm going to go up in my turn and wake him. I know y'all call it resurrection but I call it waking him up. <laughs> Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Woo, Jesus. Y'all, God is good. I'm, I'm excited about the, my God that I serve. Oh, I'm, I'm excited about him. Yes, sir. Yes, I am. Hallelujah. I, I, I go away encouraged today. I go, come on, y'all. I go away with my head, since he like, my head is lifted up. Hallelujah. I'm walking out here today. Amen. Devil better not even look at me. For, forget touching me. He just better not even look at me. Hallelujah. Don't act like you want the piece of this. <laughs> come on, y'all. Hallelujah. Oh, praise God. The God that we serve. Come on, y'all. Amen. We are more. He's more than able. Yes, he is. Amen. To bring us through. My faith has been stirred. Yes, my spirit has been anointed. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So we're going we gonna to keep on going, y'all. Yes, and hey, we're not the ones that are holding out our head act like we don't know what's happening, amen, where we're going. No, we know what's happening. Yes, we sir. know where we're going, amen, and we're going to hold on to the Word. Yes. The Word says I'm more than a conqueror. Yes. The Word says I'm an overcomer. Yes. Yeah, I know I'm going to face some hell. I faced some last week, y'all. Come on, y'all. We face it in putting up a fence around the garden, amen. Hallelujah, but we overcame it. Come on, y'all. See, it, people don't want you to succeed. They don't want you to do good. Oh, praise God. Amen. But I want to, oh, God. The 
power of prayer, amen, and you know it and start to do what you know to do, when you mix those together, then you'll see God shows up. Amen. Praise God. Amen. We prayed. Amen. We faced opposition. Amen. From a little problem we had up the street here. But the next day, the problem was cleared up. They sent me a note back from C Click, Click Fix. Oh, yeah. They sent me a note. They had already assigned authorities to it. And they took care of the problem. I came down the street. I told my wife, see, it's all cleaned up. Now, I didn't pray about the other situation, but it was the situation. But we came by the next day, Brother Smith said, the other garage is closed. He said, Pastor, you, I ain't touched that one. I, I, it wasn't me. I didn't do that. I won't take credit for it. But it's all clean because my, my concerns was, you know, you start to make in the neighborhood, amen, not look like a neighborhood. Now, there's a proper place for everything. I'm one that like to see things in this place. Clothes go where they belong. Shoes go where they belong. Food goes where they belong. I don't want to see my food in my, in my bedroom. All right. Amen. I want to see food in the kitchen. Come on, y'all. There's a proper place for everything. I ain't trying to bother nobody. Amen. But things should be proper in their proper place. Amen. And you can understand that you will face opposition when you start to align and stuff. Amen. Y'all pray for me. Because see, there are things in this community that need to be lined up. Mm, yeah. I know I'm getting in trouble, but see, I got Jesus. Come on, y'all. Let's bring our gifts together our gifts together. Amen. I'm excited. I'm excited. God, I'm excited. Hallelujah. About what God is doing. What God has already I'm sure this word was a blessing to you today, and I'd like to take this time to welcome you to Christ Church of Albany, and we'd like to invite you to our Sunday morning worship service at 381 Sheridan Avenue. So come and celebrate with us every Sunday morning at 11 a.m. And remember, the Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting, and his truth endures through all generations.